does Netflix know if someone has stolen their information? So Netflix obviously providing content to a whole range of users and when they're giving them that content, is there some way that Netflix could say, oh, I gave this movie to this person. So if that person put the information on a torrenting site, they would have the ability to narrow down or pinpoint who did it. So here's Netflix in this example, and they're providing content to a few users. Joe in this example could be someone who, as they get the information from the server, they then upload it to a torrenting site, and Netflix is obviously incentivized to figure out who that was. So today I want to go through an example in Python of effectively hiding a fingerprint or some kind of data in an image. It could be a movie or audio, but for simplicity, I'm going to do it in an image. And then we're going to see also how we put it in, take it out. Okay, so to fingerprint our images, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out we have some data and we need to encode that into numbers because images are made of three different layers and the pixel intensities are by numbers. So the first thing we do is we, okay, we take our text and then using some simple uh, algorithm, we say, given this text, these are the numbers. Now that we have those numbers, we effectively just encode them into our image. And the image is made of, like I said, three layers. And then every um, certain number of hops, we're just going to replace a pixel with our data. And the certain number of hops is going to be our secret key that only um, Netflix in this case are going to know. So they're going to know at 500 hops or at 20 hops as our first piece of data. And then at 80 hops is our second piece of data. And then they'll be able to extract the key out. Okay, great. So now that we've done all the theory, we can jump into the code and start getting this done. So the first step is to transform the letters into numbers. And that's going to be done by this encoder dictionary. The dictionary just takes in a letter and then returns a corresponding number. You can see that I've added a space at the end of all letters, just so that it can include this character. And then this is just our message encoded into the format. This is the image that we're actually going to encode our data into. So the shape is an important thing to pay attention to here because it's going to give us the amount of space or the amount of data that we have. So the first two values are the height and the width, and then the third value is the red, green, and blue. So to actually hide things in our data, we first need to generate a key that's going to hide specific pieces of information in these different areas. So here I've generated that key and the key is just random numbers that only Netflix or whichever content provider is going to keep so that they know where to find the data in the end. So I'm just going to copy this in and then we can use this to encode our data into the image. So now that we've looped over all the channels, we can just check if our counter, and our counter is just counting the number of pixels that we've been across, if our counter is in our key, and if our counter is in our key, then we know, okay, we're gonna hide one of our pieces of data here, one of our message encodings in this location in the image. And there we have it. That is our data encoded in our message. So what Netflix would need to do now is they would just generate a unique key for each individual, or they could just change the text, but some way to uniquely identify. On the fly, they would send out this image to one person with this encoding, this image to that in person with that encoding. And then after the fact, they'd be able to figure out where their data went. So to continue this example, I'm now going to extract the data from this same image so we can see how it would actually work. And it's pretty much just the reverse of what we've done. So fairly simple. To 
generate the decoder, we just take the encoder and swap the letters and numbers around. So this is just going to take the numbers and then output a letter. So we're taking our data out of the image again if our counter is in the key. So this is just the reverse of what we did earlier. And there we have it, that's the output. This content has been sent to Joe. It is that simple to encode some text or any information into an image. So you saw how we put it in, changed the text to numbers, and then took it out. It's worth talking about some caveats at the end now. This doesn't take into account how compression works, and compression with uh, images and sound often lossy compression meaning they actually lose data but they lose specific data that isn't that relevant to either the human eye or the human ear and in our specific case we are relying on very exact uh, pieces of data so we would have to take that into account oh yeah and I have no idea if Netflix actually uses this I wouldn't be too surprised if they did or some of the media companies did use some of these fingerprinting technologies. The main reason I did this was because it's a really interesting example of using steganography and a fun walkthrough of steganography in Python.